I made some changes to this odd CNC over the last week or two. And I was using my 500 watt spindle, which worked really well. But the cuts, of course, would be a little bit shallower each time. And I wanted a little more aggressive action and some dust control. So this is a unit that I built for the little 3040 CNC. And since that machine's not being used, I took it off that and put it on here. And then for some dust control, I put a 3D printed dust separator on here. And I have another video on the construction of that, and that works really well. With a bigger cutting area, we can do some bigger projects. And I've got about two feet by two feet here, maybe a little bit more going from the back to the front. So with some more space, there's a project I've had on my mind for a while, and we're gonna give that a shot today. For my fake fish here that doesn't really exist in the real world, we're going to make this a real simple cut. We're gonna do two of these, and this will be in three quarter inch pine. This will be on the front, and then we'll do another one on the back. And this will sit on here like this. And we will sandwich the thinner Luan cut between two of these. For the tool paths, I used to use JS Cut, which works real well. That's still an option. But in the meantime, I've been playing around with Carbide Create, which is free and really, really easy to use. So for these two files, it's real simple. This is our front and back, and this is our sandwiched cut in the middle, which is going to be made out of thin Luon. For the tool paths, there are some great tutorials at Carbide3D for these things. Um, basically, for this one, you highlight it, go to Toolpath, pick what you want to do. This is going to be a contour. Choose your end mill, choose your feed rates. And I'm cutting much faster than this and much deeper than this. Your max depth. And you click OK. And you just work your way through. So we'll change these around a little bit. I'm going deeper for each one. And a little faster. Max depth on this one is I think we're going about 0.78, make sure we go through. Another nice feature here is you can add tabs and you just click where you want your tabs to be. Click OK. And then here's the tool path. Choose your material if you want. And then the simulation will show what you have here. Awesome, awesome program. Big thanks to the Carbide 3D guys for this. So we just do these and we'll do one for each, each file. For this design, for these circles, I'm going to do little pockets. And for this, actually, this will be a pocket too. So I would change that toolpath instead of that being a cut. Save the files and run them over to Mock. I've got the front and back file loaded in. And what I do first is always move the CNC around to make sure that, that we've got enough space.
As far as the depth settings, the machine is pretty well dialed in because we go completely through. But looking at our scrap board, we've got hardly anything. A little bit of a cut in there, but just barely through this, which is just about perfect. And you can see that that end mill got kind of warm and it almost has a laser cut look because we were making some smoke. <laughs> But let's get that cut out of there. And that's after a first real quick sand. As far as the dust collection, we filled up about this much for that first cut. So these were my tests the other day. And then this is what we just did. And you can see how brown that is. And that combined with the color of the end mill, <laughs> we've really got to increase that feed rate because that is a burnt, end mill so always learning and there's the charred little end mill I usually buy these in packs of five or ten they're pretty inexpensive on eBay they do a good job and when you cook one just toss it out We've got our home position for the Luan for the back piece. Let's go ahead and close it up and start the cut. This was a super fast cut too, just under 11 minutes. And that's just with a little bit of cleanup, not too much sanding. What's interesting is sometimes a shape that you didn't think about pops up and looks pretty cool. So this is just clipped around, turning this over. And I kind of like that shape too, so I'll have to give that some thought for a future project. It looks kind of cool. But for this, I want to do a little more sanding, and then we'll get some paint on here. And a few coats of paint and some clear drying finish. There's the finished fish. Instead of putting two pieces, I just left the one piece on the back. Came together kind of cool. As far as the color scheme, I grabbed a couple paints that were contrasting and put them on. My wife came down and said you made a Green Bay Packers fish. And that's kind of what it turned out to be. Easy project, fun, real simple to, to set up. I think in the future I would use some birch ply for the backing. Luan got a little bit fuzzy in some of the corners. But still kind of neat. Measures about 21 inches across, about nine and a half from top to bottom. Thanks very much for taking a look.